Yeah, I see bodies. I just don't see them. That's not you, is it? No. Is that at you? They're at the, they're at the cylinder bl bricks. I pushed in, I went to the small hole by this brick building. I'm by alley. You running? No. They may be running down alley. Right next to me, right next to me. He's coming the wall to alley. Is he inside alley? No, I'm inside alley. Oh shit. Did you get him? Nope. There's another one. He's going towards Ninja. He's in the oh, blue crate. Did I kill that guy to your right? Yeah. Okay. He's by Ninja. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's almost dead. Are you good? Shoot the left. Shoot the left side. You get him? No, I'm rushing him. I got him. Oh no, yeah, I heard I'm done. I'm I heard I'm done. Damn. Nice dude. I just did suppress a fire for you. <laughs> Hello comrades. It's a focus. And we're back on some escape from Tarkov. Now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about something that uh, is kind of irritating to me. Um you can say it's more of a discussion type video, but at the same time it's more of uh, like a tips video, right? So, they changed the armor a little bit uh, in this last patch. Now, I've been playing it, I've been playing it, I've been playing it. I didn't do any extensive tests like Anton did. Um, if you guys wanted to see any of the armor tests and everything like that, obviously go to his YouTube channel and check that out because he does a very good job at it. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to try and even, even compete to it or even want to compete to it because I watch his videos as well. Um... So the my my biggest issue with them is this whole blunt effect has been in the game, right? Everybody knows this. The ones that haven't watched this video even should know this. It's been in the game. They just uh, increase the chances of it. Um, they were, they've upped the effect on it. Uh, essentially, is really what happened. And it uh, pretty much blew and killed the game, right? So uh, the seven and one took a massive nerf on the snipers. Uh, really, the only thing that didn't take a nerf, honestly, the only thing that didn't take a nerf was the M61. It still can two shot. Um, it can still one shot through any helmet. It it has an, an insane amount of pin, and it's the only type of ammunition, in my opinion, that really didn't get touched. Now, the 7.62 for the AKMs or the SKS rounds, the BP rounds with the armor pin is a really, really, really solid round as well. Uh, a lot of people may disagree with me because I know that there's some people that have been taking out the PS rounds again for 7.62 and even the PS rounds for 5.45. But I have used the M4 I don't know how many times this patch and it has worked zero times. Uh, my buddy's been loving the DVL because of all these uh, nuke chances or nuke changes rather with the SV98. Um, people have been running DVLs more. They take so many shots with the SV98. SMB, you know, can still like what three shot, two or three shot with Fort, um, and obviously still do real good, uh, really well with the uh, fast MP1 shots. But it just doesn't quite make any sense to me with the size of the cartridge and it absorbing that much. Now, if anybody uh, has seen actual footage of a Fast MT helmet or even seen an actual Fast MT helmet in real life, they would know that that thing's not going to stop much of anything. Um, these slugs, just for an example, these slugs have absolutely zero pin chance. A uh, slug itself actually has a really nice armor pin chance. Um, and even if it doesn't pin the armor, it packs such a punch that it uh, dents the armor back. And if it's a chest plate, it'll can easily snap some ribs. Um, and the fast MT, it, uh, it, can ca it concave the fast MT siding so much, in fact, that it would have probably ruptured your skull. Uh, so the fact that uh, the, the slugs do so much damage to flesh, like they should, 
but nothing toward armor is baffling to me. Um, and the fact that they've increased the M4 handling the um, recoil on the weapon so many times it blows my mind. I understand that with you know new technology, the new AKs, they they kick, they they can kick about the same as an M4, but just the way the M4 is built, it has naturally less kick, and this is due to the fact that if you have an AK that's chambered in 7.62, it's going to kick more than if you have an M4 chambered chambered in 5.56. They just keep trying to make balance to the game, and it's it's very irritating that they're trying to balance it because I don't think that the game needs balance. If we want a balanced game, we'll go play PUBG where the VSS takes the same 9mm round as a 9mm Beretta M9 pistol. So if we want something so so plain and dull, we'll go play something like PUBG. If we want something like a run and gun that's pointless, no repercussion on death, we'll go play something like Call of Duty. Right? All these games have have way different play styles and the reason that most of us liked and got into Tarkov was the fact that it was punishing. It was realistic. It was hardcore. It's still a hardcore shooter and it's still very punishing if you die. It's just not what it used to be. Um, people are finding themselves becoming more and more bored with it. And once they complete a lot of their quests and kind of get to that end gear type of cap, they uh, they they find themselves going to play a different game. And it, it's never been like that in the past, back in the alpha, and then obviously back in early closed beta moments. It was never like that. I'm glad that they're introducing quests, and I'm glad that they're trying to expand the game itself. However, stop trying to balance it, okay? Things like the VSS or the ASVAL. It, it doesn't need to be nerfed. Things like the SV-98 and DVL-10. It, it's literally shooting out of a sniper. It, it's going to penetrate the fort armor like it's nobody's business. One shot. Okay, I think that the DVL and the SV-98, especially the SV-98, should one shot anything in the chest, the stomach up right? It, it, it's a sniper. It, it's going to penetrate. That, that's what it's designed for. It's designed to have so much of a, of a punch that it goes right through armor. I don't know uh, anybody that's watched Demolition Ranch, anybody that's watched a lot of those, you know, gun related YouTube channels, or even just know their facts, know that most sniper rounds, most larger cartridges, they, they don't stop a bullet, okay? Uh, all these armor plates, they just don't stop a higher caliber rifle. It's, uh, it's just very difficult for it to for it to stop something like that. Um, I know I've preached, and I know that this is really not the type of discussion video that you guys want. Um, please uh, definitely go over to my Discord and send me a message um, thinking and, and or telling me what your guys' thoughts are, or definitely put it down in the comments below so everybody can also comment and relate to it. Um, I have a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me that are in the military, um, so hopefully you guys can kind of see my standpoint on it. I, we want the game to be fun, but we, we don't want the game to be realist or, or, or to be balanced. We want the game to be realistic. And in order to make it realistic, there's going to be guns that are going to be extremely better than other weapons. That's the point of it. The AK-47 or the AKM chambered in the 7.62, it's going to hit like a mule. But it's going to be harder to control if you have less attachments or just by default base with the M4 Air 15, whatever they wanted to add into the game, you know, later on. I just don't want them to keep cutting and destroying things, you know, to make it balance. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'm wrapping it up. I don't need to make any more discussion videos. I appreciate it. I respect every one of you guys. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Share if you want to. And as always, enjoy. This empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care You're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air Like a blazing flare
Kind of intervene that fight, but that's okay. 